So hey guys, we're still at Overland Kings and look what you have here. Uh, the promise that uh, I promised you a while back. Yung K2700 na full on camper. And look, yeah, nandun na. Ito yung... So, doing your thing isn't going to be like that. No, There's going to be a collapsible or drop down tent na to cover someone who's taking a loop yeah, let's I'll show you the size of this truck uh, in comparison I think that's a flag over there or that this is the uh, B the BJ74 and this is the K2700 so Inside here is the alu cab. Your alu cab natin. That's 270 awning, and then look at the clamshell. The whole roof is actually a pop-out clamshell tent. And guys, uh, what I really adore about this build, knowing that it's made inside the garage, is. I don't know if I can justify that. Look at that. The rivets. And uh, on the side, may mga storage compartment over here. This is where uh, he keeps the yung assist the leveling ramp so just in case that you are in a not so flat surface in the camp you can try to level the vehicle so that you sleep comfortably flat the rear of course you've got your spare tire which I think is going to drop it like that and then of course you've got the LPG tank and a big big trash bin over here the owner told me that uh, why well, ito? this is because he wants to create a statement that whenever you're camping you're gonna take everything all your trash back to the city or back to away from from nature uh, of course inside do not by the way, this got jump seats for four, no? Um, so the car can actually take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine passengers. But you know, uh, don't be sad if there's no window. He's still getting trying to import the window from all the way from the U.S. So he's gonna cut a hole on both ends of the wing so that. Uh, any anyone who's going to ride with him in the back are gonna have some view and not feel claustrophobic on every trip for power uh, these are lipo for think and this is rated 250 h with a pure sine wave inverter I don't know how much power can it generate but I think kaya isang aircon dito but uh, yung when we were at camp he was running two fridge so it's that's like a 120 watts per hour uh, this is still work in progress as you can see there's a lot tons of space that needs to be filled and by the way if you want to access the clamshell roof you're gonna have to go into inside that as demonstrated on my earlier video uh, you know this is the fuel tank over there I am not too hindi ko alam kung um, it's a fuel tank capacity and it has got racing exhaust and of course who could forget these are racing brakes you know I think he's running about close to four tons with this thing or uh, uh, disclaimer correct me if I'm wrong with that uh, but this one's heavy 
and it needs proper brakes and these are NASCAR racing brakes if you look closely on the engine no, maluwag siya. it's quite it's still uh, quite uh, spacious there under under the cap and the owner tried to install a turbo but unfortunately the engine cannot cannot take the boost or the hoses can't take the boost see that there's no spacers or what body spacers but still there's tons of space and of course this one's running on Bilstein shocks inside Let's do the other side because there's a so very basic no the four-wheel drive lever is there uh there that one closer on that one. yeah I don't know I don't know if it has a diff lock but it can get to the campsite that uh, you prefer uh, very basic then this is very utilitarian Tapos you have that screen over there it's an Android head unit but it also controls the solar uh, it says the, the power power station or yung the, the power at the back oh it's one two three four five six it's ten passengers very nice very nice even on the second row it's also quite quite spacious now even the leg room the problem is if you've got passengers with very very long legs they won't be able to stretch out their feet over here they have to put their foot or their feet in this uh, slab over here just to stretch and for the roof rack this is a front runner I know so correction mammoth and it's a full-size one but he used a engineered plastic my engineer plastic shot just to carry the weight no it's not really bolted on to the the roof of the car but it's just there for support uh, he has no plans yet of what items to put on top of the roof but man even this they are handmade they are made in the garden's garage this one's from a local surplus HMR but of course he did it right by uh, I don't know if you can see that it's actually bolted on to the chassis so it's already this uh, has already been tested in the trail this was being pulled recovered by a tractor man this is really really nice and uh, if ever that you get to this side uh, Parang this is an ultimate family camper that you can bring your kids and your your wife along. And he's got racing exhaust and of course, who could forget these are racing brakes. You know, I think he's running about close to 4 tons with this thing or uh, disclaimer, correct me if I'm wrong with that. But this one's heavy and it needs proper brakes and these are NASCAR racing brakes if you look closely on the engine no, maluwag siya. it's quite it's still uh, quite uh, spacious there under under the cap and the owner tried to install a turbo but unfortunately the engine cannot cannot take the boost or the hoses can't take the boost that there's no spacers or what body spacers but still 
there's tons of space and of course this one's running on Bilstein shocks inside okay let's do the other side because there's a So very basic, no. The four-wheel drive lever is there. Uh, there, that one. Close another. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it has a diff lock, but it can get to the campsite that uh, you or you prefer. Uh, very basic. Then this is very utilitarian. Tapos you have that screen over there, it's an Android head unit, but it also controls the solar, uh, it says the, the power power station or yung, the, the power at the back. Oh, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's 10 passengers. Very nice, very nice. Even on the second row, it's also quite, quite spacious. No? Even the leg room. No? The problem is, if you have got passengers with very, very long legs, they won't be able to stretch out their feet over here. They have to put their foot or their feet in this uh, slab over here just to stretch. And for the roof rack, this is the front runner. I know, so correction, Mammoth, and it's a full-size one, but he used a engineered plastic, my engineered plastic shot just to carry the weight. No, it's not really bolted on to the the roof of the car, but it's just there for support. Uh, he has no plans yet of what items to put on top of the roof, but man. Even this, they are hand made. They are made in the garden's garage. This one's from a local surplus HMR, but of course he did it right. By uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's actually bolted onto the chassis, so it's already this uh, has already been tested in the trail. This was being pulled, recovered by a tractor. Everyone is packing up and ready to um, just a few things that I will uh, share to you uh, This is like the control for the water system He's actually running um, 150 liters in the pump In here, it's stored here yung ano yun, water tank I don't think, uh, this is all electric because yung power niya is actually a solar generator from a, from a house that's how powerful his system is in this truck and again payload is at 1.4 tons and uh, it's not fast I can tell because it's heavy but uh, the mods for performance is going to be uh, is going to follow soon and he's, I actually bought a new version of this, the one with a common rail. And you know, I think it's that version is going to be badass. So again, thank you for the uh, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this tour.